as an observer of the world, you represent what's called a frame of reference. A frame of reference is a perspective on the world. That frame of reference might be at rest, or it might be moving in uniform motion, or it might be moving in an accelerated way. But there's a principle of physics that says um, that the laws, of motion, the, the laws of physics are the same for an, observer, for an observer who is at rest or in uniform motion. It's called the principle of motion symmetry or sometimes the special principle of relativity. But basically what it means is that there is no way that you can observe the things that are happening in the world and tell whether you're really at rest in an absolute sense or really in uniform motion in an absolute sense. The laws of motion are, are the laws of physics are exactly the same whether you're at rest or in uniform motion. Accelerated motion, however, is quite a different thing. And the principle of motion symmetry does not apply to accelerated motion. Accelerated motion is a detectable motion. You can tell whether you're really accelerating or not. The Earth spins on its axis. That spinning, if you're sitting on the surface of the Earth, represents an accelerated motion. Can we tell that we're really spinning? I mean, if you just stand there and think about it, you don't have a sense of going around and around like, on a, like you're on a merry-go-round. Is there a way of detecting that so-called accelerated motion? Well, there is, and uh, if you've gone to a uh, science museum, you may have seen a demonstration that's often used to, sh to demonstrate that the Earth is spinning. It's called a Foucault pendulum. Um, we have one at our university. Um, it's a large brass ball that is suspended on a 50-foot wire up to the ceiling and then set in motion to move back and forth in a kind of bowl arrangement so that you can stand around the edge of the bowl and watch this pendulum swing back and forth. Now let's imagine that you stand to the side of a Foucault pendulum that's swinging back and forth and you line yourself up with it so that's coming right at you, right away from you, right at you, and right away. And then let's imagine you stand there for an hour or two and then uh, after an hour or two you kind of watch and you'll notice a peculiar thing. The pendulum is no longer lined up with you. It'll be swinging off to the side like this, although you have not moved an inch. And if you watch that as time goes on over the hours, that pendulum seems to be moving away from you in its swing. Now that appears to be a violation of one of the laws of physics. The laws of physics say that all that um, all forces are created in interactions between pairs of objects. And if you watch this pendulum as it begins to swing away from you, it's as if it's being pushed to the side. And yet, if you try to find the object that it's interacting with to create the force that seems to be pushing it to the side, there is no object. And so this appears to be a violation of the physical law, the third law of motion. Well, in fact, it's not a violation of the third law of motion, but what it does represent is a clue that the frame of reference that you're using to look at this pendulum is one that is accelerated. What you're seeing in actuality is the acceleration of your frame of reference rather than a violation of the laws of motion. Let me illustrate how the Foucault pendulum works um, by imagining that we take one of these Foucault pendula and set them up on the North Pole. Now, it's a little easier to see what's happening if you imagine that you're sitting on the North Pole of the Earth and you put this pendulum in place and uh, you're going to watch the thing now as it moves back and forth. I have here a uh, pendulum, not quite as big as the one that you usually see in the science museums, but nevertheless it will illustrate the point. Let's imagine that this pendulum 
is sitting right on the north pole of a spinning earth. Now, if the earth were not spinning, then you'd put this pendulum into motion and you could stand there and you could watch that swing back and forth and it would always be lined up right with you. But if the earth is spinning, and let's uh, put in place somebody to watch that pendulum as it swings back and forth. Now watch it. You'll see the pendulum keeps swinging in the plane. But let's imagine that we're on the North Pole and the earth is spinning. So if we look at it just a little bit later, pendulum still in the same motion back and forth, but relative to the observer, it appears to have moved to the side. If we go all the way around 12 hours later, it'll be lined up again. And if we go around 24 hours, we'll be back to the original configuration, the pendulum swinging back and forth directly lined up with you. It's that apparent force from the perspective of the observer that seems to be pushing the pendulum off to the side away from him that is a force without a cause, a force without another object to obey the third law. And it's that observation which tells us not that the laws are being broken, but that we're viewing the world from an accelerated frame. What we have observed is the spinning of the earth.